Hello everyone, my name is Sean and today we're going to look for all of the 25 tokens in the, at the industrial area here on GTA 2 for the PlayStation 1. Now, as, as we all know that the industrial area is extremely difficult when it comes to getting all of the tokens. There's only 25 here for this platform instead of the usual 50, so um, it's going to be a lot easier for us to find it if you follow this video here. Um, as far as I know is that um, these tokens are hard to reach, although you can find them. So um, you're going to need a very fast car, like the police car maybe, because that is the only car that allows you to obtain all of the tokens um, as easily as it could. Because it's going to take a lot of tries, so um, I hope you guys are patient with it and until you can get them. So, um, and also, um, it's best that you save your game after you, um, after you have uh, completed some of the pay for missions. There, there is a lot of it, so I recommend that you do those missions first until you can get a lot of money, as well as all of the weapons that you have obtained. Well, maybe you will lose some of it, but uh, you shouldn't have to worry about because um, multiply increases, so that shouldn't be a lot of problem. So, um, well, for this video here, I'm just going to show you around, not really playing it for real. Um, I'm just going to let you see where all the tokens are, if you haven't yet. And please do note that um, on the PlayStation 1, um, same in game, while you haven't finished looking for all your tokens, or you have already looked at, or you already found all of the tokens, it's not possible, because after you load your recent save game, all your tokens will be lost. So, um, it's best you... Um, don't save, um, don't save the game after this area. Now, I know that things are getting a bit complicated here because um, the PlayStation One here, after you finish the industrial area, there is no final score, final score showing in, showing on the screen, just the end game screen. It's just like that. So, um, um, it, it's quite, it's just sort of a. No, this is, the, this is the platform's biggest problem actually. That's why um, it's best uh, that uh, after you locate all of the tokens um, and then you finish the game, so you're going to have to go back to the first area or the second area of any one of them, do those missions again, and then save the game um, so that you could um, uh, so that you could save all of the bonus level that you've unlocked so far. Yeah, so the PlayStation One here can be considered um, a troublesome one, even though it's nice to see that this game game has released for this platform. Um, well anyway let's start um, the industrial start entering the industrial area. Um, throughout my research on all of these tokens um, I noticed that there are 24 of them that some of the guys have found on the internet. The 25th one has not been found yet so I thought maybe specify and I'll show you the rest of them first before we get to the number 25. Alright, so um, I'm going to start by locating some of the tokens around around city pass first. Okay. You gotta be careful to drop the phone bunk could easily lead you to a to a hot piece of chase anyway. So it's best to be careful about it. Okay, so the first token we're going to find is located here. Uh, just go up, just go up, and then uh, near the overpass, there's a token on the here. Just drive into it and uh, drop yourself down. Okay, the next one is located on top. Next one is on top, uh, right near the White House. Okay, it's on the left. Just go down here. And then you should see a man uh, down here somewhere. Uh, over here. You can either use your car to go up there or just do it on foot. Okay, just walk up here and then go down. Just like that. Okay, while you're here, jump on your left, jump to the left, and drop yourself down there. You should get the token instantly. Okay, so, um, right next to the car. Let's go. 
Okay, so in the next token is located it's located at the docks on the on the right. So the first thing we do is get up to the end of the map here and um, park the car here next to the stairs. Okay, so on foot you walk up, just follow the way till you reach the end of the platform. Okay, so while you're here, um, all you have to, you're going to have to jump over there to uh, to reach the token. Okay, that's one. And then another one. Um, we'll walk down here. And you see the token. Now let's go here. Uh, let's go back. Careful. All right, let's go. Okay, so for the next token, we will be getting to the other side, which means uh, the token is down here. But to get this token, it's going to be a long way. So first, head down, right into the small alleyway here. Right down into the small alleyway. Come into right here. Okay, then the reverse. Start. There we go. Alright. Now get out of the car and drop this side down to over here. Then just fall the way. It will take you all the way back down. Alright, so there's the stairs here. And up. There's the way here. Okay, follow this wooden platform, take up the stairs, go up, okay, then jump over there, then jump up, okay, then jump over here. Okay, so there's a token. However, you cannot go, you cannot exit it. You cannot exit at this point if you bring back a car, so it's best you have to leave it. Which means this is going to be a long walk from here to get to the next platform. But don't worry, this guy is running fast. It's just nearby. So the next token will be right near the police station. So which means that you're going to have to, um, you're going to have to stick with this building. And then this one here. Alright, there's an entrance inside. Let's go in. Just follow the way. And there he is. It's right on top of the railway bridge. What you can do is just jump on it. Ooh, that was close. Once you get it, go down there to the lower level and jump down. Let's see if we got any cards we can take. Okay, this will do. Alright, so um, let's head over to the, uh, to the west side of the map. Okay, let's go down here. of guns, exit your vehicle, follow this way, go underneath the walkway, and you 
book it should be here. Something like that. Exit the same way you come in. Let's go to the next one. The next token is at the green patches. Somewhere out there. Wherever it is. It's down here. Okay, there it is. Alright, so um, it's right inside this building. Just drive in and drive up. Just like that. Okay, so uh, the next token will be on the roof somewhere up here. Okay. Okay, so the next uh, token is located in this building. Okay, in this red building here. Now, in this building below me is where the token is located at the center of it. To get on top of it, you're going to have to, uh, have to go up the ramp from this location. I recommend you to use the police car. So that you can reach up there, up there as far as you can. This is the ramp. But you're going to have to reverse back and reach through the reach the ramp at full speed, so that you can reach the token on that building. All right. So um. Up, so apart from that position, which I'm going back there now, um, okay, this boy station here. For that, for that token, and remember where your position, where you should start here. It's where you start moving your vehicle up there at full speed for the ramp. Now over here is the bridge that will take you to the police station headquarters. Now this is where the token is located on top of it. So you just get out of the vehicle and. Um, Just get up this building and go around it. Just like this. Then over here. So you jump on it. You should get your token. Okay, to get back there, all you have to do is. Go around them. And then you go back to the stairs. It's just like this. Okay. And then exit to the station. Go here like this. Let's uh, go down to the Zaibatu area again, which I think we are. Okay, we just head down over to Escobar, I believe. Somewhere there. The key to locate the ram is to find a railway somewhere around here. 
Okay, there he is. Now, what you want to do is... Uh, Okay, so what you want to do is uh, enter this road. Okay, now you can see that this building here has the GTA2 token on the roof. So if you want to reach there, you're going to have to go through the ramps. You don't have to use a vehicle because um, you can just head on there on foot. So you stop the vehicle here and head down to the the railway bridge just like this okay you just walk here on. okay just walk here okay now this part can be a bit difficult so wait for yourself as I try to jump over to that building over there it's not going to be an easy task though so let's try it let's see okay that's good now once you got it um, Again, and then shoot back at the railway bridge. But you cannot um, go back to the vehicle where you park on the ramp, so you will have to go around it instead. Okay, so um, before you can reach to the other side, make sure you step back. In as far as like this, make sure that you have a very fast car so you can reach there. Okay, so the building that I that you're going to to land on from this ramp is this. Sorry. All right, this is the building you'll be landing. It has a tank inside. Once you're there, get out on foot and drop yourself down to the wall down here. The wall here. Then follow the left, follow the left way down, down the wall here until you reach this side. Okay, you just stop here. Then you jump over to the one of the steel box, to the three boxes there. There should be a GT2 token up there. You see from here? It's just on your left. Okay. But make sure you don't uh, accidentally drop yourself down on the ground there because there's no way to get up unless you have something to um, fly over. Okay, so um, let's go to the next token. Next token is located somewhere in uh, Petula. Uh, Petula has two tokens. So, um, Well, has uh, two tokens. I'll show you which one. The key to find those two tokens is to search for the, uh, the one-way overpass. Which I think is somewhere around there. I think. Okay, okay. okay. I think it's over here. Okay. Now in this building, there's a token on the roof on the left. To get there. The ramp is right up here. Yeah. See there, the pink ramp there, the roof there. And that is the one that you, you will know, have jump over here. But I advise you not to use the police car because if you go too fast, you will miss it. So it's best to use a decent car and do your best to jump over as much as you can. Here's the entrance, right here. Make sure you stay on the left. And of course, uh, your starting point should be. Like this, right in. Now the next token is through here. Just go over them. Now this is the simplest one. If you just need to, because uh, you're going, you know you're going through two ramps. So make sure you set yourself back. Turn the engine and go. You should get your token just like that. All right, so um, there is another token in the dead body room which I haven't, haven't shown you yet. Okay, 
Okay, I'm going to look right down here. Uh, right down in the Bayan name. Okay, right here. There should be a set of stairs next to it. Try to find a set of stairs. Okay, it's right down here. When you're done. Ah, there it is. There it is. There it is. Okay, what you need to do is go up. You need to scroll up. Uh, depending on which car you choose to get up there, uh, it may be difficult, it may not be. Because uh, the longer the car, the harder it is to steer and get yourself a position to get up to the stairs. Okay. Right up there. Okay, just like that. Okay, now we get up there. Okay. The building on your left, the up one, is where you're going to be landing on. So, step back. So, reverse a bit. Back. Full speed. And, uh, oops. Make sure you uh, start it carefully. Not too close to any of the edges. Okay, now let's go. Okay, stop here. Now, there's a token below there, so we just drive down. Okay, let's go. Now, run down as well. Mm -hmm. And then you're already alright. Now, uh, let's go down way below this map into the Krishna area. Okay, below here is the military base. What you do is just head down there and go inside here. Now, um, just pull the road down and you should see a tank down here. There's a token. Just drive into it and reverse back. Simple as that. Alright, let's go and look at which for the next token. Now, this one here is going to be very difficult, but I'll show you this and I'll explain to you how to get it. I got this a few times on the day with a lot of struggle and I recommend that you to grab that token first if you think that was a real challenge for you in this game. Okay, so let's go up. It's near the Krishna territory, <coughs> so it shouldn't be so hard to find. Okay, here it is. Right on it. This, like I said, this is very difficult because uh, you need a police car and then you got a police car. It's still difficult to obtain because there's no road over there. But still, uh, if you really want to get, get this token, the ramp is over there on the other side. So, after you get yourself a police car, drive into this area, and go up to, to the hill which you will be in the Vedic Temple. Okay, now here is the ramp, if you be going. If you can remember, if possible, I suggest you to go up through this position. So, um, when you want to get this, so for the starting point, it's either here or here. However, the traffic here is considered a challenge, so brace yourself for any unexpected traffic coming through the way. Okay? And remember to use police car, though. This is not going to be a very easy, easy, uh, easy game, you know. Okay, so uh, while we are in the Krishna territory, uh, let's go into the temple, which we are going to take the tokens inside. So, uh, First, we go inside the temple and uh, it's up here. Go up here. That's what we want. Let's go here. Now, all you need to do is locate the uh, one of the. Okay, here it is. Just go up here and then turn to the right. Okay, this tree here has the token animated, so just drive it through and we are already got Alright, so let's go and grab another token from this territory. But not at this temple though, it's uh, somewhere nearby. Easy to get lost around in this temple, you know. Not long to be taken care of. Okay, so before I go up here, Let's go down into Krishna Trains. There's a token down there. So what you need to do is uh, 
head down here, go to the right, and then I'll get to the up. See the vehicle and grab the token. Okay, and the first. Head up there. Go over here. Crushers this time. Okay, now walk past the payphone, jump up the platform, and your token should be on your right. It's just simple as that. Go back to the car. I know my car is on fire and I'll put to worry about it. Okay, so now that we're done with the Krishna territory, it's time for us to go to the um, Russian territory. Okay, let's go up. Go here. Um, I will take the right side of this map first. In the Russian territory. Okay, this one might be nice. Okay, so while we're here, go inside this uh, alleyway, jump through a series of boxes around, jump up here as well, there we go, here. The token should be good, just like that. Okay, next is uh, over here. Next is over here. Um, to set up the stairs. This so one can be considered a bit easy. Just need to go up the stairs here. Okay, just fall the way. There's your company. I'm going to go back down, just go the way down here. It's just like that. Okay, let's go. Okay, so the next token is located somewhere up to somewhere. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's look for the next token. Now, the next token here is located somewhere inside the cross. If I remember correctly, it's... Uh, okay, now, what I'm going to show you is that one token most of the guys... Most of the guy hasn't listed there. Because they said, um, because they're asking whether if anyone has found the 25th token, just let them know where it is. Since that's old news, but maybe I will show you where exactly the country token is. It's somewhere in the Russian territory and it is somehow easy to catch. Here's where exactly exactly the Russian token is. Um I think it's over here. Though. It should be some top. Somewhere on top. Top of the cross. I don't know why they couldn't find the 25th one around here because uh, just, I just figured out where exactly it was all this time. I mean, can't be out there, huh? Just report it, right? I mean, the last person with gas was was that token. It's just simply absurd, right? I mean, it's over here somewhere. But I know where it is. I once got it. Show you where it is. It's in the Russian territory, somewhere around here. Oh, it's here. Yeah, it's gotta be here. Right up here. So, ah, there he is. Uh, there is the 25th token. Most people have been 
kept looking for in the guide, in this guide. Well, I found it and it's located around here. Okay, so I found the book. So this is how you you get it. You see, uh, it's below the Russian territory limit in Crimea. Just follow the road up here and then do the narrow, do the narrow ways. There are no cars, just people. Okay, and then you take your right over here. Just go underneath those ones. Need those bridge, the bridge, and then there's another one over here. You just go up there, and your token should be right there. It's just over there on the here. Okay, so after you found that, after you found that token, let's go back to where I uh, stopped. Okay, so um, first we need to find an exit. Um, okay, so do this. Go down here. Okay, right down here. Alright, so uh, for this one here, I recommend you to use the sports car or police car. This car is more recommended. Your starting position should be here. And then, um, once you get at full speed, run over, run straight up to this ramp over here. Now, stick to your right, because the warehouse is located on the right. The warehouse is this one. Here, actually. It's right up here. The warehouse is right here. It's next to the overpass. Okay, there he is. This is the warehouse. You need to land your car on this roof the roof and exit and exit on foot then you jump over to the wooden grid something to get the token on it's just like that okay you may take a lot of tries to get up there though even though you have a police car so take your time with that and don't rush all right on to the last two tokens that I'm going to look for it's not a prata in two places one is at the switch front. Help you is get out of the car. Walk onto the roof. And grab it up. It's right there on it. Okay, so the next one is here. Okay. Okay. Next one is here. You just go up. Jump up there, and there's your last token. So there it is all of the DK2 tokens in the, at the industrial area. Um, I hope you enjoy watching this video because I've already explained to you everything about about what and what to do to get those token token in this location. Um, it's very difficult. That's why I only do explanation at some point point, and I only collect a few tokens. So. Um, if this is the first video I explained to you, especially the 25th token, well, I consider it to be the first since an honor. Um, um, I hope this is helping you out, and I hope to see you in the next video soon. And of course, uh, I hope you enjoyed the other two videos where I tried to look for all the tokens in GTA 2 for the PS1. So, um, if anything, just feel free to comment below and see how you and see what you think about it and what what can you do to make it look better or maybe there is a video that you like to show show how to get those tokens much better than mine here on the PS1 so uh, thanks for watching everyone and I hope you guys have a good day and I'll see you around